Sinister. Yeah. Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's get right into a level. Peach's cash castle dash castle. <laughs> Current event. What do they mean by that? Well, let's find out. I've got this thing here which we can tilt left and right like so. I really don't know what they mean by current event in all honesty. <laughs> I've actually been wondering that myself. I mean, there's this lava that comes up. I guess that's a current event, but what is what does that got to do with, with the name current event anyway? Anyway, fall on, let Samba Bombs fall on the platform because it makes, oops, it makes it sink, which allows you to get coins, oopsie, oh, oh, <laughs> coins like that. And I didn't kick it off the platform, that's why I had that issue there. My bad. Retry. Yeah, I really don't know why it's called current events. <laughs> so then again, some levels I'm kind of befuddled as to why they call them the way they call them. But anyway, let's give it another shot. You tilt left and right on the gamepad or whatever you're using to play this with because it supports multiple control schemes. And uh, yeah. Alright. Get on the platform. Did I say platform? Okay, there we go. Now I'll throw it off. Now it'll go up, go back up automatically. You still have to keep a decent pace going here because of the uh, um, lava that's coming up. And wait a second, did I forget? I think. Um, oh wait, no, no, no. There's. Oh, I was gonna say there's another area to this, but I thought maybe that door led to. Um, the end, but no, now that I think about it more, it doesn't. Anyway, that first section is really, really short, so maybe I won't cut here. I'll just keep going, keep it all intact, I suppose, unless it starts getting excessive, but I doubt it will, because this isn't a hard area at all. I'm just kind of uh, messing up here, but oh geez. Is this any... I think it, I think it wastes more time to go in that pipe for coins than it does not to. Maybe it'd be best to avoid that pipe. Because you have the um, platforms off to the side, you, you know, to get up here. Get off here. No, no, no. Go, 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 go. And in the door. Oh, should have got the... Oh, forget it. I was going to say a thing next to the door, but oh well. Lava's still going up. That current event is coming. Oh, should I have done that? Maybe. Uh, where's the last coin? I kind of forgot. I don't know... Well, there it is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get off! Hurry! Oh! Um... Mm -mm. No midpoints either. That's just sad. <laughs> Area number two. Let's get a fire... A ice flower, because I, I have an idea on how to do this a little bit more efficiently. You can freeze my bombs in the air, which means I can make platforms out of them. Which also means I'll be able to get to that coin a lot easier. Uh oh, oh, and oh, there's Luigi in the lava, or, or going to be submerged in the lava. And let's go through the door and see what awaits us. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh! Nah, no, it's just the end. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't really any any boss or anything like this to the area. It's pretty anticlimactic. I just don't understand why it's called current event. I... <laughs> if you have any better, I mean, if you have any explanation as to why it's called current event, I'd like to hear it. And here we are at the final level of the game. Needless to say, I'll be starting that this part. Peach's Castle, Dash Castle, the final battle. Well, it's actually like Dash Castle too, because this is, this is the second. Um, uh, castle in the level here. Yeah, uh, castle in the world here. Uh-oh, it's Bowser Jr. And he can sink platforms with his ground pounds. But don't worry, they respawn eventually. Yeah, no, no, you don't, so I don't think so. Okay, well, hit this. You gotta kinda bait him into hitting the spots that you want him to hit, like, whoopsie. Well, hmm, hmm, that's not ideal. Could you hit this spot, please? That, mm, oh, come on! Hit this block! This one block! Because I can't wall kick out of there with... I should say wall kick out of here in a guaranteed way without that block out of the way. There we go! Okay, compound here. 
Good boy. Yeah, it's all about leading Bowser oh, Bowser Jr. into his into opening up stuff. And these, yes, they all contain one-ups. It's kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know why, but they all contain one-ups. Maybe because it's difficult to get them when you know when you're up uh, underneath the platforms. They fall here. Thank you. Here's the last star coin. Fall here, please. Good boy. Oh no! No, I was so close, so very close. This is a hard stage too, so I'm surprised I got that that far as is. Well, I shouldn't say it's a hard stage. It's a hard stage to get Bowser Bowser Jr. to do what you want him to do. He, like he doesn't react exactly the way that you would expect him to yeah it, it's like he aims for where you're going instead of where you are but at the same time he doesn't sometimes so it's it's kind of hard to tell exactly how his sprite functions <laughs> it's, it, so it's difficult to feel out where i should be at any given time i can see another single block to get out of the way there we go Maybe I should have jumped at it from the right side so I could slide down the left wall. <sighs> but yeah, I don't. That's another thing is that I don't quite understand the physics of Bowser Jr. I have it. I have it to some extent, but not to the extent of mastery. You know, in that I would be able to do the stage each and every time by getting all the star coins out of it. Can I, oh, I can't escape that with one block off the side. Break this, please. Yeah, no, thank you. So I just need him to get out of my way, and I will be very happy. And now I need to get in there. If at all possible, don't fall down here. Okay. I don't care if you break that one, just as long as you don't break the one below where I am, because I can't escape that. <laughs> okay. Fall here, please. No, not there! Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Okay, I'm just gonna go in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think there's a power-up coming up here, so it's not like I really need one in that area. Actually, maybe there's two power-ups here. Uh, yes, very generous of you. Alright, let's go through the big door, increase our second count. You have 250 seconds for this, I think you get an idea of what might be coming. Final boss time. Oh yeah. Feel the excitement in the air, dodging fireballs. And now, the most classic of Bowser battles! Just get over to the switch. You can hit them with ice balls, but I don't think they do any effect. Uh, fireballs do have an effect on him, which will eventually kill him if you hit him with enough of them. But what I'm waiting for him to do is to jump up. Yeah, I don't think this is doing anything. I want him to jump higher than that, though. Uh, the ice balls are pretty good at uh, guarding from his fireballs, though. And hitting that switch makes the axe fall down and Bowser into the hole. Oh, Bowser. Oh, Bowser. Oh, Bowser. You think you would learn from your past mistakes. Or maybe what he should have done is just jumped on the switch himself. You know, Luigi comes into the room, he jumps on the switch, you know, he, the hatch shuts behind Luigi. He jumps on the switch, Luigi falls to his doom, that's what it should have been. But nope, he didn't do it. <laughs> but wait, there's more! Of course there's more, that was way too easy, come on, don't be silly. I see Peach in the background. Let's go jump to her! Oh, can't. Luigi. Don't worry, I'm here for you. But only because I want 100% the game. Oh, oh, geez, what's the point of that? She's surrounded by lava anyway. Well, I suppose she could glide. But still, I don't know. Oh! Hello! This is the true final battle of the game. And we gotta get Bowser Jr. to cooperate with us a little bit here. And his sprite does the same thing as it did in the stage just prior to this. Get, except he doesn't have his uh, protection protection glass or protective protective. Oh shoot! 
You gotta press ZR to ground pound Bowser's head with the clown car, and that's how you hit it. Alright, Bowser Jr., come back. There you go. Good boy. I'm just gonna slide under here if you don't mind. I'm going to hijack your car if you don't mind, although you probably mind it. Get above him quickly. And now, this part is really difficult to dodge. Uh, because you don't know when he's going to jump up. Just try and stay in pace with him so that you can go under, oops, underneath him. If possible, sometimes it's it's just really hard to predict is what I'm saying. Both Bowser and Bowser Jr. in this last stage is hard to predict overall. And now he's going to spew meteors everywhere. I couldn't find a word for that <laughs> for some reason. And you already know how to dodge those suckers by now. I mean, come on. Now we got the bombs, which are kind of pointless. I mean, they get in your way, so I guess they're not pointless in the way that they don't impact the battle at all. And I really wish I had a hit here. Jump over me, please. You gotta give me a chance at the corner to dodge that. It's the way you're designed. So I guess that's the only way you can predict when he's gonna jump, is when you get near a corner, because he absolutely has to give you room uh, to go underneath him because it would be unfair by the game's design which in fact is good game design because you know they're giving you a chance that you know in a way that you can't really predict where he's going to jump and you you can't really I mean it's kind of hard to feel how close you are to the edge of the screen as well so they uh, gave you a chance by allowing you to have a shot at that and it's, by the way as you can tell the fire uh, does indeed impact the bombs and the, yeah. Um, it's over! I'm surprised that went that well. <laughs> and Bowser keels over. <laughs> Alright, what do you have to say about that, Bowser Jr.? I mean, you're the only one left standing. Left standing to ask, I should say. Uh, oh, and he suicides. <laughs> or at least that's what it looks like, because I think there's a, a valley of lava, I mean a pit of lava over there. But maybe not. I mean, he might be able to survive the lava. It seems to be in the Bowser family line's powers to do so. Oh? Oh? Peach just cheated on Mario. What? How could how could you do this, Peach? How? How? I thought you were BF and GF. But I guess maybe Peach is a swinger. Which actually makes a lot of sense. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh. Oh, poor Bowser. He can't get up. Oh, oh, there we go. And. Oh, oh, gonna try and use the broken up ship to escape, and that's just not gonna work out well. It, the ship is just too br badly damaged to hold all that weight. <laughs> and thus, it's over. Wow, that clown car is far more powerful than that airship. <laughs> Woo! Game over! <laughs> okay, maybe not. There's a little bit more to this. Uh, there's a special world that is still coming up, so no, this is not the final part of the walkthrough. There are nine more levels to unlock in the special world, and you can play around with the letters and the credits here. Which reminds me, because this is the credits, I should say the thing that I always say. I did not make the game, these awesome people did. I just made the walkthrough on it to help and entertain people. And this has been very fun, even though it's going to be very short overall. I expect like three more parts. Well, I suppose it's uh, longer than classical or classic Mario games, but uh, it's shorter than uh, walkthroughs I've been doing as of late. Well, maybe except for uh, a game with a kitty. That was just a really, really short, fun game. 
just to do because it's a short and fun game I wanted to show off that I knew about. There's a lot of other games in the uh, Game with the Kitty series as well, and uh, I'm, I'm quite tempted to do them as well later on in the future, but I guess we'll see how things go. Anyway, back to uh, New Super Luigi U uh, thoughts, as lo uh, since we're here in the closing credits, I suppose. The game is quite good. It's definitely, I guess you could say, more of the same in terms of Mario, but, you know, the level design is new, and that's what uh, sets platformers apart from each other. Well, platformers and side-scrollers apart from each other. Because, you know, they're, they all have the, the same general formula. Jump, dodge enemies, maybe shoot some stuff here and there. You, you get what I'm saying. But it's the level design that, that sets it apart, and the... The gimmick of the game, well, I, guess, I don't want to say gimmick, maybe I'll just say theme of the game, because gimmick sounds almost insulting in a way, I guess you could say, to the game itself, if you use the term gimmick. But uh, the, uh, the theme of the game is speed, like all the levels are designed with speed in mind, and that you can, or you have a shot at running through each of the levels at high speed from start to finish, and including getting star coins to some extent. So they're uh, built with flow in mind, and I think that's a pretty nice level design trait, uh, in my opinion, because uh, you're not waiting around too much for stuff, you're always in action, which means that you will have a point, I mean, you won't have a point that you're just sitting around waiting for stuff, and that it's kind of boring at times, and you have to do that. By the way, other players could join in on the credits here if they were long, but no, they're not, so I'm just going to bounce on their heads all day long, because that's fun. But, uh, and again, Mario is absent from this, because he is not in the game. They made sure that is clear as part of the little joke, so to speak, that Mario is not in here at all when they crossed off his name from the... I mean, the, when they crossed off the brother's title from the... Uh, game title, and yeah, and then they replaced him with Nabbit. Uh, but it still feels like a Mario game, of course. <laughs> I mean, come on, look at it! Look how it plays, look how it is. Oh, and I also like, uh, in Mario games, how they've always been... This is just like a general, general comment out of the blue here. But, uh, I've always liked how they have given enemies new properties each game, so to speak. Like, take the Goombas, for example. Like, in the original Mario Brothers, you could just jump on their heads. They were just, you know, they didn't jump at all. They just were ground-bone enemies. They, just, they were just there to be in your way when they needed to be in the way. And then you fast-forward a bit to, say, like, Mario 64, and then they gave them a slight homing ability when they uh, see you. You know, then they, they charge after you. Now in this game, uh, they give them a little hop to the music. And there's also other variations of Goombas, and that's another thing that Nintendo tends to do to keep Mario games fresh, is they throw in those little sorts of surprises all over the place. Anyway, now, now that I beat the game, uh, we are going to go through a couple of things that I got on my save file here. There's actually more stars here. So, as you can tell, you get a star from completing the game, there's more to it. There, oh, gonna have to. Yeah, this unlocks over here to the secret island, which I'll cover in this part as well, just because. And over here is the special world, World Nine. It's in another dimension, the Superstar World. And no, I haven't found. Well, I did find all the star coins up to this point, but I haven't found all the star coins overall. But yeah, I got all the star coins at Peach's Castle. That's a little confirmation there. Woo! Voila! At least I'm pretty sure I got all the star coins in the game because that, uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Cleared all when you clear all the courses through Peach's Castle, you get another save file and you get all the and you unlock that last stage in the Superstar Row, which you've seen flip over. Uh, yep, got all the star coins, so I was indeed correct about that. So and that's that's what triggers another star to appear in your save file. And yes, I would like to do that. Uh, doing this will allow you to save your game anytime. Yes, save your game as in a hard save, not a quick save from the menu. So that means you can do, um, you can just hard save anywhere you want, which is a lot handier than having to do quick saves. Anyway, let's go over to the secret island. 
and leave Nabbit to that first stage because he's having a good time, he's having a party. And this purple uh, mushroom house, which you might have noticed a little while into the walkthrough earlier, contains basically records. Oop. They have been tracking everything we have been doing. Ha <laughs> ha well, that's what they said. Ha ha ha. They have been stalking us from beginning to end. <laughs> and I like how they put Nabbit's caught. Like, as if there's multiple Nabbit's. I mean, I guess that would be a possibility. But I mean, I would think that uh, if they were just talking about one Nabbit, it would be like how many times you've caught Nabbit is what they would describe it as something like that. Yeah, they even calculate how many times you've been applauded, how many times you've gotten fireworks, one-ups, etc, etc, etc. Um, the three up moons can only be found in multiplayer games, so I'm not going to cover them. Boost blocks are also in multiplayer games, same with the mini boost blocks, so that's why you never seen any of those three throughout the rest of the walkthrough. Anyway, that is what's inside the purple mushroom house. Now, let's go head inside the pipe and go over to the final world of the game, the Superstar Road. Here we are. It is a star. Yep, it's quite literally a star. Now there's more to it than that. <laughs> and we are going to see that what that is in the next part. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you then.